Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amy. In today's video, I am going to finally unbox the amazing offer that I got from Hawaii. This was my second time shopping at the Hawaii store and I'll also answer a few of the common questions that I got regarding my journey in Hawaii. Without further ado, let me just unbox it. We'll do all the story times later. Here we go. And like I mentioned in my hints or in my Q&As, um, this was definitely not my first choice. It wasn't even my second choice. I definitely fell in love with this whole combination at first sight that I just simply couldn't say no. And like I said, I'm going to share with you the whole story of how it happened, but it was pretty amazing as in like, <laughs> I love this bag, but a lot of you apparently got the impression that I wasn't too happy with it. All right, I want you to pause and just guess what it is. Go wild with your guesses, what the color combo is and what bag it is. I will tell you now that I didn't really ask for this originally. I only asked for a Constance 18. So that was a very, in my mind, a simple request. I only really wanted a Constance to complete my collection of Birkin and Kelly's. Anyway, I'll continue with the story time, but based on this size of box, what do you think it is? Are you guys ready? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am so excited to finally reveal. Okay, there's a booklet. Let me take out the bag. It's a little heavy just to do with one hand. Here's the inside of the box. There's just the typical tissue pillow. We'll just close that up. I hope you made all your guesses by now. And yeah, it doesn't look very big. That's what I was told by many, many people. It doesn't look very big. But to me, it is okay. Trust me, for me, this is on the bigger side. But I'm really, really excited about this bag. And it's sort of a dream combo. Oh my gosh, it's so tight. Are you guys ready? You guys will totally understand why I'm so happy with it. It's white. Ta-da! This is my beautiful, super gorgeous Kelly 28 in Cellier. And the color is so gorgeous. It's definitely right up my alley. I've been wanting a white bag for a while. This is the seasonal color called Gris Pal, which means pale gray there's nothing gray about it it's a white bag okay it's just gorgeous uh, so basically it's a little off-white leaning towards a very neutral slightly grayish you can even hardly call it gray in my opinion it's a white bag it's so gorgeous um it kind of reminds me of the color gris Perle, which is the pearl gray color which also looks very very light although i haven't seen it side by side but i I believe this color, uh, this seasonal color is even more white than Gris Pelle, if that makes sense. But if you own both, let me know if that's the case. It is an Epsom and it is also in Palladium hardware. I mean, do you guys understand why I love it so much now? The combination is extraordinary. I love the palladium hardware against this white color. I think it suits it so well. The glazing around it is a darker, I wanna say a dark beige brown color, which suits it very well. It's so gorgeous. A very nice solid top handle. And it has quite a bit of weight to it, which is why I said it is significantly a bigger size and heavier size bag than I am you know, usually leaning towards. I feel like the leather on this one is so thick. I also weighted on my scale, it was about 908 grams. So for me, it's a little heavy, but oh my God, I cannot believe of the incredible, incredible combination 
um, of this bag. Okay, let's open her up and show you the bag without the felt material. So we have two pouches that contains the strap and also the clochette. Here is the clochette. And let me just really open up the bag to show you the inside. It's so beautiful. It's snow white and I definitely need an organizer to protect the inside. But as you can see, there is one zipper compartment in the back and two slip pockets in the front. And it's one big giant hole. It's definitely a lot bigger of a bag. Can you see how much bigger it is compared to my Kelly 25? I'll do a little bit of comparison also and mod shots. Here is the strap. There you have it. Oh my gosh, she is stunning. She is so stunning. Let me close her up a little bit so that you can see her. Um, it's so stiff because it's so new. And also I feel like the leather on this one is just so thick. This bag has a very thick Epsom leather compared to my other bags. I feel like the leather on this bag is so solid which is a good thing obviously but i think that's why it is a little bit on the heavier side let me just put them in front maybe that's gonna be nicer there you go oh she's so cute and she's so beautiful elegant and she's such a snow white um i don't typically name my my bags but if i had to give it a name Snow White. You guys have heard me say many times by now that I'm not really, really picky in terms of the hardware color. Depending on the combination, I think it just has to go with it. But for this particular color, this gris pâle color, I am so glad that it is in palladium. I think the fact that it is in palladium makes it look so much fresher. It's not casual by any means, but maybe it does make it more casual, which is a good thing because it's such a big bag. I can't stop looking at it. It's so gorgeous. I'm already thinking of all the different outfits that I'm going to style it with. Here's another really amazing unboxing I wanted to share with you. And it is from my favorite diamond jewelry company, Ideal. And as you can see, the packaging is slightly different. So on my ears is a pair of their high jewelry earrings and the pair that I'm wearing right now is called Le Rêve which means the dream in French. I chose it in white gold as usual which also pairs super well with the palladium hardware of my new bag. As you may already know Ideal makes modular design jewelry meaning that you can build your collection over time with different add-ons. So the add-on piece is the one that it's dangling right now. So this add-on which is 0.88 carat total in lab grown diamonds is called Le Rêve and the studs that I'm wearing which are absolutely stunning these studs are the middle size which is the grand which is 0.7 carat in diamond weight so as you can see I could just wear the studs on its own and it's still kapow a really a really stunning or if you just love your dangly earrings like me uh, then it I mean it just I have no words. They're so spectacular. With their high jewelry line, you also get a different kind of packaging. It also has its own certification. So as you can see, I have a certificate for each piece. So each stud has its own certificate and each of the add-ons has its own certificate. I'll have the ideal Le Rêve earrings linked down below. Don't forget to take advantage of the Mother's Day promotion. And if you're watching this video after the promotion, don't worry, you can always use my coupon code FashionablyAmy10 to save 10% at checkout. You guys might remember that I also own the Joan. These are one of my favorite dangly fine jewelry before and as you can see um you know they they're beautiful but they're a lot more delicate than their high jewelry that is for sure i definitely have a lot of favorites including their cuffs which i rotate all the time the lab grown diamonds that they use are the highest standard in quality in color cutting this is why even their fine jewelry which i'm wearing two of my favorite pieces on my neck 
all the time. I rotate the diamond, it just really, really pop. But definitely the star today are the earrings, their high jewelry line. So if you've always wanted a pair of really big diamond studs, you can go for the ones that I have here. Like I said, this is the middle size. They even have a one carat size, which oh my gosh, is amazing. Anyway, if you've missed out on their high jewelry last time or you didn't know that they make high jewelry, I'll have everything linked down below. And thank you so much to Ideal for sending me these gorgeous, gorgeous earrings. So I'm still shopping for the perfect twilly for this bag, but I do have this mitzvah from Dior, which I can use for the time being because I definitely want to protect the very delicate white color. I also have this charm from before. Incidentally, I also bought this one in Hawaii. So this one I got from my first trip in Hawaii about a year and a half ago and I think they kind of go together because it's also a light color. Actually before I put it on let me show you a comparison of some items that I have in white or in very light color from Hermes. My Kelly pocket is in gold and grey which is the chalk color. It's still off-white but it's definitely more on the yellow side. It's definitely a lot more warm tone and compared side by side with Gripal, now you can really tell the difference, right? This bag is really a lot more white and cool tone. Both are still neutrals, but definitely a lot more cool toned compared to Cré. So yeah, and they're both Epsom. My charm also is in Cré, except that it's in a different leather. This is probably Swift. Uh, this is in Mauve Bal. The warm tone on Cré definitely is, you know, doesn't match 100%, but I do like the Mauve Bal, which is a little bit more cool tone, so it still goes quite well together. I quite like this charm on this bag. It's like they're made for each other. So how did it all happen? Like I said, I was in Hawaii in February, and it was my second time shopping at the Hawaii Waikiki store. My first time was about a year and a half ago. I had bought some ready to wear. I was also offered the Lizard Constant Slim at the time. And yeah, that was my first time creating a profile at that store and did a little bit of pre-spend. And at the time, I did give them a wish list of my bags that I would have liked. At the time anyway, I was only hoping for a mini Lindy that was basically the highest item on my priority and they didn't have anything but I got a constant slim from it so that was the first trip. Fast forward to February this year because we couldn't go last year. There was just too many conflicts with school schedule, work schedule, so we delayed our trip to February. For those who are curious because I might get this question in the comments. Uh, I spent a total of 16.5K in pre-spend with the two trips combined. And this bag was just over 13K. Basically the ratio is just a little over one to one to get this bag, which I think is fair because bigger bags are a little easier to get. Now, like I said, when I went in to shop this time, I went in with the wish list of just the Constance 18. And my essay was very sweet. She actually did have a Constance, which she did offer to me, but the problem was that it was in a color that I didn't like. It was a blue, it was a navy blue. So I, I didn't want navy blue. I never take bags in blue color anymore because I had this amazing Chanel blue color bag that I I hardly used. I love the color navy blue in clothing, in scarves, but I just don't like it in bags. I, I, I have a very hard time styling blue bags. I had to refuse the Constance even though my heart really, really wanted it. I really wanted the bag. I just didn't love the color. And at these prices and at these pre-spend, I am not about to take 
a compromise in terms of the offer. I even told my husband that I would rather come back a third time, like a third visit, and get something that is really on my wish list that I really love, that I see myself using. Anyway, if, if you've seen my vlog, you just saw that I did all the shopping at the beginning of my trip, and so I still had a few days there that hopefully my essay would be able to figure out something else to offer me and I told her to please keep me in mind for anything that I might like. I told her, generally speaking, I loved Kelly's. I also prefer smaller bags. So I was in Hawaii for a total of seven days and I think on day five, I texted my essay again and I asked, oh, is there anything that came up that uh, please don't forget me? And luckily she replied, <laughs> she didn't ignore me because you never know with these things, right? And told me to come into the store. She even put aside a few more other things that she thought I might like. They were all ready to wear. And before she unboxed this big box, the first thing she told me was that I'm very picky, which is true because why shouldn't you be picky if like you know your own style you know your own preferences why wouldn't you stick to that right uh, but anyway she said that i was very very picky and that um you know even though she couldn't offer me a smaller size bag since apparently a lot of local clients have been waiting for the smaller sizes but she still wanted to offer me something and so she had to compromise with the size and get me colors that i i would like i didn't really give her a list of color per se like i didn't give her specific colors i just told her that generally speaking i love my neutrals uh, i would love to get a gray bag this time around my original wish list was just for a gris etin Constance 18. That was the only wish list that I had really. But the moment that she showed me the bag, the moment it came out of the dust bag, I was like, my jaw literally dropped because I could not believe the color combination. And like I said, even though my essay didn't know that at the time, but personally, I've been wanting a white bag from Hermes, especially a white Kelly. I mean, I think a white Birkin would be wonderful too, but like a white Kelly is just so stunning. You guys all know that I love my black Kelly 25. This is literally the best, best bag that I have in my collection in terms of quota bags. I want it black. I really truly want it black, but I also have a black Birkin. So I've been really wanting a light color, although it didn't have to be this white. <laughs> But uh, you know, some lighter shade of gray. If I put a side by side, now you guys see why I say that this bag is so much bigger. Hermes is one of the companies that really truly makes their bags by hand from beginning to end. So I understand there are discrepancies, but truly it is kind of annoying because my Mini Kelly is 19 centimeter. My Kelly 25 is 25, which is great but this Kelly 28 is 29 centimeter and I'm not even exaggerating when I say 29, it's a full 29 centimeter. So it is a lot bigger than my Kelly 25. It's also a lot heavier. Uh, as you can see, the girth is also a lot wider. And I would say, if I had to estimate, I would say that um, in terms of how much it fits, I think it's quite comparable to my Birkin 25, but it's actually a lot heavier than my Birkin 25. Um, it's about 300 grams more. Regarding some of the comments that you guys had about your feeling that I am not as excited or not as happy with this offer, I was just a little bit more nervous with this offer because first of all, it's, it's a white bag, okay? So it's a bag that I have to be really careful. Um, second of all, it's a larger bag. It's a little heavier. So I do already think that I will have less opportunities to wear this bag because not only do I have to make sure that my outfit is not gonna stain the bag, right? So I always have to wear light color items and always have to be more mindful. And the fact that it is on the bigger side, 
is just a little bit inconvenient because you know small bags are just easier to pro to protect uh, i always carry the same amount of things i don't really carry more things so bigger doesn't make any more better for my lifestyle so i think generally speaking that those are just some of the worries that i had and that did probably translate into my you know the way i spoke about it i suppose but it's not that i'm not excited about this bag i really really love it it's so stunning and i'm so glad that it's something super different from everything that i own um but i definitely have to be more careful and i have to baby it even more probably cannot take it out when it's rainy which happens a lot in vancouver so it's just all those things that i know it's more of a special occasion bag which is an amazing special occasion bag but it's just it's just one of those things that um is not gonna always be the ideal bag to take out even for the strap i probably don't want to get the strap color transfer either so i might even consider getting some uh, shorter straps because this strap is kind of long actually it measures the same length as the 25 strap but the drop of this bag is a lot lower because it is a bigger bag so I actually would probably prefer a slightly shorter strap for this. Like I said, even though I did not really ask for this, I I never asked for a Kelly 28. <laughs> I never asked for a white bag, technically. But this is what I got, which, like I said, I'm so grateful, so blessed. Um, really, really happy with the overall... <laughs> the overall offer because it's a gorgeous shade of gray which really is white and it's a gorgeous bag it's an amazing bag i think 28 this size in general a lot of people consider it to be just normal size i just have a preference for the 25 but it doesn't mean that this 28 isn't amazing you might wonder well if you're so afraid of a bigger white bag then why did you take it well the heart wants what it wants you know like i saw it and i was just like oh my god it's so beautiful and i've always wanted a white bag and honestly i don't really need to justify why i like it i just like it i just know that i have to be a bit more careful and that i wouldn't be able to wear all the time but it is part of my collection now and it's not going anywhere it's so stunning Ugh, this is so dreamy and, and the smell of the leather is still so amazing it's it's new right obviously some of the common questions I get is whether Hawaii Almez is going to become my main store going forward. Although the Vancouver store or any store in Canada is super competitive, quite challenging in a sense that the wait is long. There's only one quota limit per year. The pre-spend is high. It can make the journey quite difficult, but it doesn't mean that switching to shopping just in Hawaii would make it any better. Like my essay said, and just from general common sense, I am not a local and they will always prioritize locals. Not them per se, but any store, generally speaking, they would probably prioritize locals more because that's only fair. And although I am legitimately a spending client, I still have to build my profile and all of that. I just don't know. I, for a fact that I will get exactly what I asked for because although I did get something amazing and it's it just so happens that I love this kind of combo uh, but it's still not exactly what I asked for so going forward as I continue to shop there and I have no issue shopping at both places because I always just get things that I can't get in Vancouver in Hawaii because Hawaii has more stock and um you know generally speaking i find ready to wear a little bit cheaper in the us as well so that helps but regardless i'm not quite actively going for quota bags there it doesn't mean that i won't take a quota offer if they did offer it to me it's more that i i definitely know and feel like they will not prioritize me as much and therefore i'm just not sure how long and whether they will ever really give me exactly what I want, which, you know, I feel like with my local store in Vancouver, although the journey is longer and more difficult in a way, I always get exactly what I ask for. I just have to wait for it and I just have to work for it, basically. But I'm always here anyway, whereas 
when I'm traveling, you know, I'm only there for a certain number of days. So if they don't have the stock, then they just don't have the stock then. And I can't just fly in at any time. Thank you all for waiting for this unboxing. I, uh, I had to sit with it for myself a little bit. I had to kind of simmer it and just enjoy the fact that I have this beautiful bag. I haven't used it yet. You, I, literally, I am still preserving its beauty before I take off all the stickers, decorate it, and just, you know, make the most out of it. But literally, I've just been really trying to preserve it a little longer <laughs> before I put the wear and tear. Don't forget to check out Ideal Jewelry. Take advantage of the Mother's Day promotion. It doesn't happen all the time. So definitely make sure you check out the links. I'll pop a couple of videos that you might be interested on the screen. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.